for you here today. I don't think if you know anything about Ontario X-Wing, you should definitely recognize uh, the man in that Imperial green jacket that you see right there placing the first rock down there. That is none other than R5 Don 4, aka Don K, uh, aka 800 plus games in this, yeah. this X-Wing. AKA making X-Wing happen in yeah. Ontario. A AKA, I've never flown K-Wings before, so I'm going to go ahead and get top four at regionals with them. That's AKA, the stands for. that's exactly what it is. The, the K is for all the AKAs in Don's name because Don's awesome and all yeah. of us love Don. He's, he's a great guy. He's an amazing player. He's been playing literally since like the game started. I think yeah. he's actually a tester as well. Yes, he is. He's so, also he's a huge ambassador for the community. He's a big part of the uh, extending the PTL flavor. Yeah. Uh, he's not technically PTL as no, he doesn't live in Toronto, but we all know he's he's the heart and soul of our community as one well. Of the guys who really got the stores involved, yeah. started events and stuff. Yeah. You know. Really, really gave a big boost. Yeah, he's uh, all over the social media aspect. He lets us all know what's going on where. You know, he's just, just all around yeah, an awesome Yeah, he dude. runs our page and stuff. And he's kind of an awesome player. Yeah, he's kind of an all right guy. We like him sort of. Yeah. On the other end of the table, we got my buddy Tristan, a.k.a. Bubble Boy. Nice. Um, he's a hell of a player. This is a guy who comes to an event, doesn't like medalists, just flies, you know, whatever he feels like, always does super well. The last, like, store championship season where this guy made... Pretty much, more like a good bulk of the top eights. Yeah. Quite a few nines, which is why we're calling him Bubble Boy, because it was either cut to four and he was fifth, or yeah. cut to... But this is a guy who's also come with, like, you know, a couple of rookies in a Z. Yeah. And actually, the list he's flying right now is what he took to the Naboo Open and was 20th. Yeah, which is... Which is no, pretty good, you know? It's all right. Pretty sure he said he took down a couple of sets of Rowboats or yeah. all, all the all the other top, top tier That's stuff right, that we yeah. saw at the Open, and, and he came in here with... What you look you look across the table at his list and you like you, you oh would, you would probably laugh but yeah. you would be wrong in doing so because you know what what this is is, is this is the kind of list that you know we've seen well for lack of a better term I don't know much about the uh, the vassal community but I do know who my juggler is and I do know there's also uh, Blair Bunky's also a very high proponent in flying a lot of no, like no name swarms that are devastating if yes. you know how to fly them and he's obviously one of the best players in the world at it so uh, we have a couple of PTLers who uh, run with those guys on the Vassal Leagues uh -huh. Evan's one of them and I know uh, Lucas who wasn't able to come today Lucas Crosby who's yep. also a phenomenal player yep. loves running Bunky S lists and, Torpedo's running and, and this kind of feels like it yeah, absolutely. Um, it's very efficient. Mm -hmm. Everyone costs a low amount of points. Tracers mean that your rookies are going to be hitting for three. You have a mm -hmm. very high chance of hitting with the TLT, putting that one damage through. You also have a stress mechanic, which is always helpful. The double stress is serious business. You can't you can't mess around with that. You don't want your Omega Leader to not have actions, especially if she has to spend the evade. Yeah, and for 26 uh, point, the Heaver special is never the wrong choice, as we've seen so often. He's won how many worlds with that ship? And that's right. Open, it's finally an open with it, like... It, you can never not take it seriously. Like It's always a great ship to have. And Tristan's jousting power in this list is phenomenal. You know, you don't think these are going to be a problem, so you won't waste time firing at them. That's why he sticks them out in front. And if they get that thread tracer off, and basically you're going to have one, two, three, four ships all firing with focus target lock, That's right. you can you can melt a ship. Quick draw, quick draw might, could potentially go down in a turn. Uh, but then again, Neo Don has a phenomenal list here too, yeah. as you can see. See like, a quick draw again? Which... No. Of which we're seeing a lot of because uh, with with the with the um, recent uh, anti stress mechanics that have been coming out in the last re few recent waves of uh, they've been trying to basically force not force but they've been trying to stem the um, popularity of Imperial Aces just because it was getting yeah. a bit tired for the game where anybody was flying sooner fell Carnage and Jackson was like fly something different sort of a thing so it's it's hard out there for Imperial Aces right now so what we've seen is a lot of Imperial players make the shift to. I mean, a lot of other amazing ships in the Imperial Navy that nobody was using before in Quick Draw, in Tolmax, who's a phenomenal ship. He's that came all in. right. Like, and then, and when is Omega Leader ever the wrong choice? The answer is never. She's always the right choice. So, 26, 29 points. You can't spend anything better on this entire in this entire game. I think. Um, yep. So, Tristan doing very, very uh, unique. Actually, he's doing three straight to get himself out in front of that rock and probably take the middle of the board. I would say on this on, by turn three. Um, but he's doing that beautiful real rebel special formation <coughs> flying. He's gonna. I feel like he's just gonna probably try to shove his ships all the way down, and just just melt something. Yeah, the uh, the joust is definitely advantageous for Tristan. He's a lot of ships. The five ship is huge. I mean, if you come up against Quick Draw, you come up against Tomax, they're probably not gonna survive if they're in range two or closer, right? I, I think though, if everything goes well for Don and he triggers everything perfectly the way he wants to, you're gonna see. 
maybe two ships got on the first round and Don Don has the absolute possibility here to wipe both of Tristan's X-Wings out in one round and if he does that that's basically a good game like the, there's no way he can come back from that so it is going to be very very interesting and it looks like Don's happy to kind of meet him head on because I guess with that you know with the fire control systems and the targeting synchronizer means that um Tomax is going to be firing a fully modded homing missile with an unlimited crack shot. So yep. that is a terrifying potential five damage that's going to go through. And on a two of eight ship, you know, that's that's potentially a dead Z right there. Yep. So it's an interesting little trick because the targeting synchronizer is a great upgrade. Um, we've seen a couple of rounds here. We've had a couple of Omega leaders. Mm -hmm. And uh, how often does Omega leader get two blanks or uh, an eyeball and mm -hmm. can't make that work? Mm -hmm. Quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Now with the targeting synchronizer, that means quick draw shooting first. Quick draw is going to grab the target lock, and Omega Leader gets a reroll. It's huge, and that two damage is going to go through. So how that happens is basically targeting synchronizer. If you don't know the upgrade, it's an upgrade that allows you to uh, other friendly ships at range one, two, I believe. Yes, it's one uh, and two are allowed to use your target lock for their actions. Now where that also comes into play is again with with the FCS, it's a brilliant combo. Quick draw will fire first. She'll pull the target lock from her FCS, and then Tomax whether or not he was in position or not, will be able to fire off his homing missiles right. with a focus and guidance chips using quick draws, target lock that she'll get back next turn anyways. Yeah. So now you've got a fully modded five dice homing missile shot on your on your first round of engagement no matter where you are. And as you said, if Oli does what she normally does and rolls two dice and, and doesn't hit anything, she can spend quick draws target lock as well to potentially do something while still having her target That's lock right. for her offensive lockdown. It's so, good to note as well that the homing missile on tone locks doesn't require you to spend your target lock. So you can shoot with quick draw, get your target lock. Tone locks, if he's in position, can shoot his homing missile not spending the target lock. And then Omega Leader could use the target lock as well. It's a lot of efficiency for one target lock. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, it's very useful. Now, here we see, uh, I don't know if he did it the previous turn, but we've just seen it now. Uh, you can see that um, Tristan has target locked uh, with M9G8 on his uh, Y-Wing, the Stress Hog, which again, that's a smart choice, giving because you know that ship would generally yeah. never get actions after the first round of shooting. This way, it gives a TLT Y-Wing a chance to yeah. you know, re-roll, and that's huge. It's two re-rolls a turn. Yeah, and this is also interesting too. I thought maybe Don might try bringing Omega Leader up the side and flanking with her, but looks like he's just going to see about I mean, he still has the huge open board to do something with her, but maybe he's just going to try to take the middle of the board and just take it head on, which it looks like he's going to. I mean, you have a good chance of doing some damage if you can get in there and get behind the rebel ships. Mm -hmm. I mean, we know that the stress hog, once he shoots, he stresses himself and he only shoots out of his arc. So once you get behind him, it's very easy to just pepper him down in a couple of turns and wipe him out. Um, but it's a, it's a ballsy maneuver to get in there and joust this list. Yeah, because Tristan's efficiency is coming from the fact that he's jousting. He's got a brick yes. of firepower. That's right. And I think I think we're going to see three banks at this point. And it's also good to note that one of the rookies has a seismic torpedo, mm -hmm. which I asked him about. What was like, why is there a seismic torpedo? Is that even like worth having? And he says it's amazing for creating laneways. So if mm. it's bulked in the middle of the asteroids, he can set the laneway. Your opponent won't realize what's happening. You shoot. The missile blow up and just joust in. And now there you go. Here comes an entire five ship list right, right through a rock that you didn't so, see coming. Don might even go, okay, maybe I don't want quick draw part of this, thinking that the rebel ships will turn and he'll turn them away. And maybe Tristan will just go straight and blow up the obstruction and just mm. lay into him. You never know. Now, if Tristan does decide to go three straight with his brick again, and Tomax, that's going to leave Tomax coming right in for a flank. So do you think he might risk that? This no, I don't think he will. It would leave with so much open hog. board space. I kind of feel like. I kind of feel like he wants to just dive in, right? Yeah. Here comes three banks. Here comes three banks. I would have, I would have thought he was going to do a one bank, fly cash. Take oh, it's your just, time. Two, it's just two banks. Okay, two banks. Yeah, take your time, put yourself in a good position. It's probably where you want to be. Excuse me, those are one banks. Yeah, you one bank right. makes yeah. the most sense. Give himself the most range and take the most, time. the most max efficiency from his stress hog, correct? That's right, and that means that Tomox can't run away. Mm -hmm. It means that Omega Leader can't do something crazy this turn, and mm -hmm. it means that if he turns quick draw, you're probably going to have a shot with some of your guys. And now you can see, basically, he's just basically created a 180-degree field of fire. Yeah, exactly. There's nowhere you can go and not get shot at this turn. And again, all of his ships... I mean, he could go one... Oh, no, yeah, he can go one... Uh, Don could go one forward most, he could. Of, most of his stuff. And, but you're going to take the range three shots. But then he's just going to do the Rebel Special one straight next yeah, turn. one anyways. straight next turn, exactly. One straight focus, right? And all of Don's ships are significantly more expensive than all of Tristan's ships. So even if you trade a ship this turn each, you're in a bad position if you're Don. Mm-hmm. And you got to figure Tristan's moving first too. He's always going to go into every round of firing with, with focus at least. 
Don might actually have to use both Tomax and Quick Draw to take something out in the first turn. He has to go for the Stress Hog. It's just imperative. Like, Tomax will not survive if he doesn't have actions. That's true, and Omega Leader, I've, 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 I've you know, played against Omega Leader a few times with uh, a, a Braylon Stress Hog, a Stress Baron, and, uh, and, you know, three stress on an Omega Leader is tough, because when she spends her target a lot, or her Vade token, that's it. she never gets it back until she dies, and that's a huge way to shut her down. Yes, exactly. But, I mean, Dawn casting a beautifully wide net, too, saying, okay, I'm gonna, I see your Joust, and I raise you a Joust, it looks like, almost. Yeah, pretty much. I don't know what his playing thought it, process is here, but... Playing it slow. Playing it slow is probably the way to go. See if you can't catch the other guy off guard. If the other guy can't make a mistake. Mm -hmm. Now, the way he positioned his Tomax leads me to believe that I think he is going to go for the Y-Wing, the Stress Hog first. It looks yeah. like he's probably going to come in, target lock the Y-Hog with, with Oli, and then Tomax is probably going to also probably try target lock. Maybe he'll wheel one bank in his uh, quick draw. It's probably the safest course of action. I mean, Dawn ships hit very hard, but they're also not the most defensive of Imperial ships. Minus, of course, Omega Leader. You got the two dice on Tomax. You got the two dice on Quick Draw. True. So you have to be careful. You can't just joust them in. Because they will die. And any of those guys, if they get double stressed, they're probably going to die. Right, that's true. Now, here's also another interesting thing that Dawn could do or might try. He could... If he takes quick draw in and let's say with a one bank sort of and she pulls a target lock, he can fire his um, he can fire his homing missile on the first salvo, and then when he takes damage, he'll have fire control system to actually fire again. He quick draw himself could put out up to eight damage on one it's round. Sure. It's true, or more if he can somehow get them in between. Exactly. The two range ones could be, you know, three and three on the first shot yeah. and lose a shield three and three. Which also maybe might be a thing he might try to do. It might be know. worth Tristan's formation is quite tight. I don't think he's going to be able to thread that at all. He's going to have to break them up at some point, which I feel like Tristan at this point won straights for, for a couple of turns yeah. and just K-turns his whole squad. Of course, he's not going to be able to K-turn that Y-Wing, though, so I feel like the Y-Wing's going to have to get as much stress out in the next two turns as it can and it's, then just basically spend two turns wheeling back around. I mean, the Y-Wing's not stressed yet, so it still has the potential of, of doing that. It doesn't have to stress itself. It's true. Um, yeah, the, but yeah, the formation's really tight, so I don't think Dawn can squeeze in quick draw very easily. Yeah. You've had it for this long? Oh, you found another one. Thank you. So I just, yeah, uh, that random thing that just happened, sorry, my attention was drawn for a second. Uh, about a, six months ago, I loaned out one of our uh, PTL participation prizes. We've got custom uh, range one templates that we use for barrel rolls. Uh, it's got the PTL logo on it, and I forgot that I'd, I'd given it to uh, League Boss Devin, and he just came in now and gave it back to me after six months, maybe, and I was like, hey, there it is. So sorry, that was nice to be reunited, and it feels so good. All right, anyways, back to the match. Huzzah! So, yeah, so Tristan looks like maybe he might try something fancy, or is he just, you think he's just... He's playing rebel efficiency. Fancy is the bank. <laughs> so, so do you think he, he's just taking his time setting his dials to make Don think he's not going to go yeah. one straight with everything? I think he should play little mind games with Don. The real question is, is I either go straight and goes for quick draw, or he banks in and he's going after Omega Leader, and that's the choice you have to make. So Don remembering his uh, extra munition tokens, which makes maybe thinks where he his head's at. So... We know Oli's got to at least go 2-4, which I don't know if she wants to do, uh, because then she's definitely getting stressed. But do you think you maybe do that to draw the stress off of Tomax first, and then just run her away for the rest of the game? Like, kind of bring her in for one strafing run, throw one shot, and then just run away? It might be worth uh, Dawn's time to just run away right now with him. Try to get behind... Hard one barrel roll back towards that rock and just be... Yeah, or like problem. a hard three barrel roll ship left towards yeah. the table edge. And it sounds crazy. And then you sloop on those next turn. Mm -hmm. And it gets you behind. That's what you need. Once you start stressing, you at least you stress the bomber, which can still shoot its missiles if he's in one to two of quick draw. Oh, Ooh, that's fast. I would not have expected that. Maybe that's why he went for it. Maybe he figured, okay, everybody... Oh, that Z's missing a wing, it looks like. It's already damaged. Yeah, battle damage Z95. Uh, maybe that's what he thought. Maybe he's, or maybe he just wanted to get the back rank, rank in range of everything. A one straight probably keeps mm. his rookies out of the fight, and I think Tristan knew that, and that's why he did that maneuver. Yeah, it's important if you got your thread chasers to take full advantage of it. I mean, he did take this list to twentieth uh, round, twentieth overall finish at Naboo, and there was yeah. a phenomenal play. Doesn't suck. So he knows what he's doing with it. So uh, definitely and that, doesn't suck. That's probably what I think he was thinking. Right, the one straight would have kept his uh, rookies probably out of this round of engagement. And I think the rookies are his, are basically his hammer here, so. 
Yes. I don't think he can afford to have them not fire in. That's right. Especially with one of the Zeds shooting the tracers and not putting Exactly, damage, so. exactly. And the M9G8 uh, clocking on the stress and the hog. Though that might mean that the stress hog doesn't get to use its TLT, which might not be a huge deal. I'm wondering if, yeah, if Quick Draw is even going to get, or uh, I guess the Stress Hog isn't going to get a shot on Quick Draw or not. That's the question. Yeah, so Don's going to be there, so. Uh, target lock. Target lock the guy or you barrel roll? Dodge arc. No. <sighs> I think you barrel roll. Oh, the focus is. Because he does. That is it's hard to tell, again, from the angle if the rookie has a shot on Omega Leader. I don't think it does. So, so I guess if it he... doesn't, I probably wouldn't barrel roll. Also, I figure. Maybe Don figures there's no way he's gonna use his focus on defense on a Y wing with stress log. He's probably gonna, he's probably safe just focusing, going for max damage potential. Yeah, I think he's just going hard after the stress hog here. Yeah. This is this is wild stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's stress. He just fed is... him, fed him this little quick draw. Which means, he, if you're Tristan, do you go after Tomax or do you go after quick draw? Quick, I mean, draw. quick draw is a huge points advantage, so you you take this opportunity. I take quick draw. Oh, and he didn't. He focused. So interesting. So focus Don didn't target lock with quick draw. I think focus makes more sense. Really? So I, you you don't shoot two missiles and kill something right away? I think he thought he was in range one. Yeah, maybe. Because I thought you would have taken a missile. Oh, well, the homing missile is range it's, one to two, correct? Uh, no, it's two to three. Oh, okay. So that's probably why he didn't target lock. See, that's why you target lock and you get to measure range. That's it. But maybe he didn't want to have the target lock and not a focus. That's maybe true. Maybe he wants a defensive focus. That's true. But I don't, I don't, don't really think that... I, again, remember, now that he is in range 2, he could get shot and shoot the homing missile. That's a good point. That's a good point. So he'll acquire target lock, hold on to the focus for the second round of fire, and going to evade that for zero result. For a big zip. Yeah. But he did target that stress hog, it looks like. Yes. He needs fancy target locks on the table. Some system open target locks, some early re national target locks, I think. I don't know. I don't know enough about the swag uh, profile on these games. So that's going to be a homing missile using targeting synchronizer or no? Oh, Omega Leader's fire range one. And he's going to two hits. And Targums. Tristan decides to focus or not now. Do you focus and keep the... Yes. I'm yeah, like I think it. you're forced to. I like that defensive play there, personally. I, I'm always tempted to keep the damage output, but really the, the Stress Hog's main job isn't to do damage. It's to feed, da it's to feed stress. Right. And it needs to be alive to do that. Exactly. So the longer it's alive, the longer it can be doing that annoyingness. Yes. So I, I think we're going to see Tomax firing a homing missile using uh, Quick Draw's target lock. Yep. You got it. Yeah. Guide his chips and focus for, five, for four. That's what you want to see. Yeah. Four hits. And then crack shot means I'm probably... Yep, that's four crack is shot, going through 100%. Crack shot means all four of this is going through. That's right. So there you, you go. You didn't even need to roll the die. doesn't even need to roll the die, so that's already half health on the Y-Wing. Yep, his shields are down. Shields and into hull? Yes, they have three hull. I always get that confused with the B-Wing. Reverse of the B-Wing, yeah. Reverse B-Wing. Yeah. That's right. So three hull left. Now, if you're Tristan, do you even do you shoot quick draw? Because if you shoot quick draw, that means your wiring's dead. So the only thing, hopefully, they, they don't seem to have remembered that um, the target lock is actually still on the. F oh no, you don't actually have to spend target you lock. You don't spend missile. I keep forgetting right. about that. Again, there's the power of Don's list. Yeah, that's what we were saying before. It's a very you've got a lot of synergy between the three ships. Yeah. And quick draw. And not even having to spend the target lock to do that was amazing. That was yeah. huge, actually. The quick draw is that has a homing missile as well for the same thing. Yeah, that's exactly it. And now it's like, do you do you just throw everything at Quick Draw? And if you do that, Quick Draw just fires its homing missile at the Y wing. Do you, you'd have to if you're gonna if you're going to target, you shoot have the to Y wing last. Uh, I would probably shoot my the homing missile first. and then automatically shoot my Y wing because it's gonna die. Right? So if you're Tristan, you thread tracer. If you're gonna thread trace, if you're gonna go after Quick Draw, you're gonna thread tracer first. That makes the most sense. Yeah. Then after that, you're gonna shoot the Y wing. Because if you do any damage, he's going to shoot and kill your Y-Wing. That's exactly it. But it's only once per round, so the max... What's only once per so round? So he's going to hit with those tracers. Yes. And chips to three. Uh, well, oh, yes. No. It's like two evades. Looks like it, but he should still be getting... Yep. Comes the target locks. Oh, so... Why is Don... Don didn't take any damage? Uh, I'm not actually sure. Maybe he didn't... Fire with Thread Tracers? He rolled three dice though. Oh, it's range one. He could have just shot his primaries as possible. 
Alright, I'm wondering why Don didn't shoot his homing missile here. So actually, yeah, that, but Tristan put the Thread Tracer card down. Yeah, I think it was a mistake. Because Thread Tracers don't do damage, and there's no target locks out, so I'm just a little curious to what's, what happened there. Maybe we'll see if we can confirm. Oh no, okay, so... Okay, so... So then the Quick Draw Fire would have been, would have been a mistake then. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's one of those things that would be a missed opportunity. If we caught it now, we could take that back. Maybe we should let them know. Because that's definitely not Because he didn't do us. any damage to Quick Draw. You can't do damage on Thread Tracers. So Quick Draw wouldn't have taken damage. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll get that sorted out for you folks. Now, no it, was the, it was the right call, though. Thread Tracer up, yes. and, now, and now you burn down Quick Draw. 100%. Well, let's uh, see you... if we can't get this sorted out ahead of time huh. before we continue on. Because that Quick Draw shot would have been important. And I'm not sure why. Let's talk about this while they're taking their time. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you have homing missile this turn? Why wouldn't you have homing missile that? Why? Wouldn't it guarantee kill? Um... Yeah, I don't know. I think that's... Well, he has only four health left with the focus target lock. Uh, I believe he would have, and I would have just tried to PS kill that Y way before it could ever stress anything. That's right. He just wiped it off the table. So I think we're trying to find out what happened there. Maybe they can explain to us. Maybe they... Maybe we... Uh, maybe he fired one of the Z's first and then fired Thread Tracers after. He fired Thread Tracers. So then the... Quick Draw's ability shouldn't have triggered. Because you can't do damage on... Yeah. But he did fire... Yeah, they they, um, they took it back. Okay. 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 Good. So yeah, so it was a mistake. No, sh uh, quick draw's ability does involve quick draw taking damage. Yeah. So quick draw didn't take any damage because the flare tracers can't do damage. Yes. So his ability would not have triggered. So we're just gonna pretend that never happened. Mm -hmm. No damage was taken anyways, but from it, so it didn't really matter. Uh, now here comes the Z. Big two dice. It's gonna wondering if he's gonna focus here. Go for spend a target lock. lock. Yeah, spend lock. Saving that focus. Okay. So the lock goes down. No, he spent the focus ah, on defense. Shooting. Yes, he's shooting. Uh, yes, gotcha. Uh, and now Sorry, it looks like Zen. Quick Draw will take the damage and probably be able to trigger her ability. Now here's a fun judge question. Mm -hmm. If he... Okay, so he didn't actually uh, use his ability. I guess they're going to play casual and say that you rolled the dice already. Maybe. That's what they decided. So they decided that... Um, Quick draw took the damage, yeah. and so the next attack that did a damage... Would have been the one that they did? They okay. Done. Again, look, yeah. there you That's... go again. Talk. I want to talk about, again, the quality of these people. Like, in all fairness, that was a miss, That was not a missed opportunity. That was an actual rollbackable call. They could right. have reset, and Don could have taken the option to get the... Basically, get a better roll at it yep. the next time, but he decided to think, no, we made a mistake. We're going to live with it and go for it. And again, that's the you know, quality, quality of yeah, individuals. Was... And that actually really works out for Tristan, to be honest with you. Yeah, because he could have shot that homing missile and yeah, just, that would have been it. Yeah. And he only got one damage out of that ability shot, so that Y is, is down to two hull, but going to make it... Ooh, yeah. Range 1, target lock, focus E95. The dream. Here's going to come... Here Here might be 13 points well spent right now. <laughs> 13 points, one point on the tracer. <laughs> no, I mean 13 point on the Z, right? Like, Yeah. Got to love those Zs. And oh. that's going to be three hits. That looks like three hits. Love it. And that's going to be like, like two evades or two eyeballs? I think it's an eyeball and an evade. No, I see some shields come off, so yeah, it looks like one and one. One, okay. Yeah. And now we're going to see the beauty and power of, of uh, Tristan's list. Because I think you're going to see... Uh, that's another focus for three more. Yep. Youch. And that's... Uh, oh, I mean, and there we go. That's what happens when you point five ships at one ship. You know? Because he took two damage from each... He took a shot... He took damage from each shell T-shot. That Y-Wing put in work. It got three damage on Quick Draw. Yeah. It took the, shield, shields, it took the shields And then off. the Z took off. And then... And he still has one X to fire. I think. I think he still has that one X-Wing left. Yep. Yeah, it's the back one there. It's the one with the M9G8. Oh, right. Because he's got the M9G8 on the Y-Wing. Again, see, this is a really cool list. And his dice are cooperating with him, that's for damn sure. And that looks like double evades. Double evades. Should be good, yep. So, thoughts? Well, Don's in a tricky place. Yeah. Right off the bat. I'm wondering if Tristan's not gonna just cater and everything. I don't think so. I think what he's gonna do, I think you're gonna see Z1. 
uh, K turn because mm -hmm. he's already fired his tracers. Yep. You're gonna see Z two do a one. Ba the rest of the list is gonna do a one bank uh, focus. Mm -hmm. I think because Z two is gonna fire tracers on on the next target, which is I'd probably go for Tomax. You think you're gonna see a one bank on that Y wing clear a stress and yep. try to bump Tomax? I think so. Or Oli or something. Then, Oli's gonna have to bug out at this point. Now. Oli's gonna, gonna sloop probably. I think uh, two bank sloop. Yeah, or maybe ship just left. Go with the four K. Yeah, four K is good. Doesn't happen very often. But no, you don't see it coming. <laughs> it's a good. It's a great place to try it because your know, Tristan's brick won't be there no matter what they do. But if Tomax goes down this turn, can Dawn come back? No, I don't think so. Uh, Tomax has a missile left still, mm -hmm. and that infinite crack shot. So even though he's only throwing two dice, Tomax can do work against these ships with I his mean, primary. Hundred percent. All of Tristan's list is a is a two or one evade dice list. So. With two dice and focus, Tomax could conceivably just attrition down most of his list. The problem is, is Tristan still has four ships, almost all of them relatively untouched. At this point now, the loss of the the loss of the Y wing will be really bad, but it doesn't it doesn't damage him too too much because no. getting quick draw off the board and that initial joust was massive. For Dawn at this point, it's all about keeping that Omega leader from getting hit by multiple ships. Mm -hmm. The Omega leader can win. One on one will win on one on one for sure, and has a decent chance of winning one on one versus maybe two of those ships, especially if one of them is a Zed. Yeah, I was gonna say if if I think Oli can take one on two, um, maybe not two X wings, but yeah, because like oh. a Zed and, um, and an X wing, she could definitely take that. One. Yeah. Do you five K turn Tomax, but then you can't then you can't homing anybody. I think it's worth your time to just, just so you don't get bumped, right? Just go for the 5k. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have the crack shot, so it's still damage is probably going through. Especially because you're going to go after that Y-Wing. The problem is, is if Tristan does what I was thinking he does in the one bank everybody, Tomax will probably bump one of the, the lead X, the ship 4, mm -hmm. and that's going to give ship uh, 5 a shot at him. And then he'll be stressed and not be able to k turn again next turn. So it's risky. So that was actually a really, really risky joust. Both players kind of put it all on the line on that initial joust there to be yeah, honest. Yeah, it was too, huge. Because now, because now for positioning sake, Don Don is in a more rough position than I think Tristan would be. Yes, hundred percent, hundred percent on that one. So you think the five K is going to bump into X Wing number four, or will it bump into the back one, the backmost one? <sighs> That's a good question. It depends on, again, it all depends on what Tristan does with them. I mean, he could just k turn everybody. But I feel like the whole point is getting the next Thread Tracer out and trying to pick up a lock on, on something. So I'm getting a lot of messages on Facebook. People are excited about the event. They've been messaging me. And my favorite question is, man, what do you think the meta's going to be? Oh, at our, at our event? At the, at the Open. Well, that's exactly kind of the whole point is we tried to bust the meta and... Again, that's that's why we're trying to not necessarily curate, but you know, we're we're trying to we're trying to bring everybody watching some interesting matchups and some interesting lists that obviously we don't we don't know what our what our players are gonna fly, what mm -hmm. they're gonna choose to fly. But we have you know, we've we've been out there getting our scouts, we've been we've been doing some behind the scenes reconnaissance to see what types of lists they all brought. And we were like, you know, if we get this person on stream, there's a good chance they'll fly something crazy. Um well, that's interesting, yeah. So he's, uh, he's going to just go on for the bump. Yeah, the two-turn made sense. It's good block. Start turning around now. It's going to take him two turns to do it. Exactly. That makes a lot of sense. You're going to bump. If he goes like the one straight, you're going to bump him no matter what. That's all yeah. that matters. Yeah, the slow process of turning around. And I think the two-turn and the two-turn makes more sense than trying to do like the one bank and then the one bank and yeah. then turn around, right? I, absolutely, because he's going to want to be facing around the other direction anyway, so he was going to have to do a couple of K... He was going to have to do three hard ones, so... So, here comes the one banks. Okay, so you he's just right. looking for uh, a block bump. Yeah. I agree with that. That makes sense. Feels like chances are you're not going to make that K turn. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, you're going to bump into the Y wing first mm -hmm. and take four shots. Now, mm -hmm. even if these guys end up bumping into each other, who cares? Mm -hmm. I mean, they're not going to, but... Yeah, so I think there you go. And then now... Again, now the Tracer is live. And also, now he's got clean lanes for his 4K turns for his whole list next turn. Exactly. So, I mean, this is some pretty solid formation flying from Tristan. Looks like Tristan may have tried this once or twice before. Yeah. Time. Yeah, I wonder if maybe this would help get him so far in uh, at Naboo. It's nice to see lists where it really promotes, like, you're a good flyer, you fly well, and you do well because of it, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, going for the cancer. Okay, so he wanted to make sure that he had a shot with that one. 
But that is close. Oh, look, look at, at that. that. Look at that. <laughs> a little, yeah, a little look, excitement there for yeah. Tristan. He's happy he made it. Yeah. And that actually, again, that actually makes sense because that only costs him a focus token. Because he's got M9G8, yep. he's going to get the reroll anyways. And if that, now he figures, you know what? I, you know what? Tristan's obviously better than I am because a one bank with the other X-Wing does not block the 5K. That's right. So he obviously is better at this game than I am, and there you go. He is very good because he's just going to 4K both those guys and leave an open lane for Don to fly right into and just light them up. Yeah, like worst case scenario, you bump with Tomox and then you're still taking two shots with Zeds. Mm -hmm. And the best case scenario is he flies right by and you got two shots with your X-Wings, which is what you want. That looks like that's going to bump. Yeah. That was almost such an epic... That was really cool. That was a great attempt. I, I was hoping that was going to make it. That would have been really epic. Um, but still, but great, it was a great plan. Just great blocking position. That is true. I mean, it's one of those situations where, yeah, it might have been a negative thing that have happened, but you're right. If, he, if, 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 if anything happened, that if somehow that Tomax has to get walked back behind the Y-Wing... That's right. If the Tomax bumps into the Y-Wing, that X-Wing still gets a shot. Yeah. But I don't know. I think we see the five. Yep, yeah, there's the five K coming out for Tomax, like yep. I thought. That makes the most sense. Yeah, it did. Fancy R five Dawn four templates. Mm -hmm. so this is good news for Dawn. Actually, yeah, that that really helped him. That bump. Yeah, it was huge. Because that's one less shot from an X wing. And he's not going to get Thread Tracer this round. So nope. he's got impunity to, to light something up. Yep. And at this point now, he's got a range one shot on an X-Wing. And more importantly, it feels like now Tristan's ships are starting to get a little spread out. Yep. So it means if the Zed's K-turn next turn, the everything's is yeah. in the fight, or it's going to be in the fight with stress. And same with the other one. Essentially, he's just basically broken this entire formation now. He's going to have to. Yes. Yeah. Because you're right. The uh, That X-Wing cannot 4K-turn again now because it's not a defender. No, it'd have to two-turn if it wants to be in the fight. Yep. But it'd be easy enough for Don to just ignore it. Because it's probably going to try to clear his stress. But again, that was a really it was a really great play. I mean, you saw that Tristan bumped by a millimeter. Yeah, so it was super it was, close. It was really close, and that's one of those things. Two sloop. Yep. Called the sloop. Mm-hmm. So the Y-Wing's going to die. Yeah, the, well, the Y-Wing was bound to die. It's on two hull. It's on two hull, right? Yes. Okay. That's correct. Well, it's actually going to be Naked Dice, though, other than Juke. Crack shot. They both have one of Juke, oh, do you, crack shot. Do you think he uh, doesn't go after the the X-Wing? Well, I think he's going to shoot Omega Leader first. Yeah, that's what's happening. He's going to see what yeah, happens. See what happens. So, like, for example... Uh, one hit only. One hit. So you're going to have to go that's with Tomax. That's sad. Could roll the dice, but you don't need to. Juke. Yep. Takes the one. I mean, at least... Got, uh, actually, that's a one. That's okay. Yep. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he can hear us, but he heard us somehow. Spiritually, he heard us. Yep. Here it comes. Oh! That sucks. That sucks. That's hurtful. <laughs> now Don goes to the slump of sadness. He's sad. <laughs> well, I thought he was extending the hand. <laughs> it was like, wow, <laughs> was like, you're pretty confident. You're savage, Tristan. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he wins. Extend the hand right, early. Yeah, exactly. Can't beat me. I was 20th in Naboo. <laughs> <laughs> I have system open target locks. Do you? I actually don't, and I'm sad. We're Ontario's finest. Yeah. Uh, so it looks like you got one eyeball, some paint. So you had two hits came through, it looks like. Yep. So that X-Wing's putting two damage onto our boy, Tomox. Yep, perfect. And that looks like the round, friends. Oh, that oh, that's the, it's fine. Oh, it's fine. Oh, that token is great. Yeah, that token is hilarious. They were giving those that. I wish they could room. zoom them in and show it. It's so awesome! If you guys have ever seen that really funny, famous comic online where the dog's sitting in the building as the house is burning down, he just keeps saying it's fine. Everything will be fine. okay. It'll be okay. It's fine. Yeah, that's, that's what's, on. what's on that crit token. Uh, I wonder what the crit was. We will never know. We will never know. We we know. Damage cockpit. <laughs> we, we have the technology. We have found out that that was Facebook, damage Facebook, huzzah. Cockpit. Damage cockpit. Interesting. Okay. Hot skill zero is not a terrible thing at all at this point. 
it sounds bad. Yeah. But I think it's advantageous for his positioning. I would just go one straight, bump. But then if I'm Tristan... You think that X will go one straight? Yeah, I, I move him first for a one straight clear stress bump, and then... I probably do. I honestly, do a two straight I, I think I self bump. I think I self bump both my X wings. You go two straight then, just clear. No, no. I mean the with, uh, with Tomax X wing number four. Yeah, X wing number four. I'd I'd self bump both the X wings, keep them where they are, and then cater in both disease. Mm -hmm. Be done with it. So a two straight on Tomax was a probably great choice. Better, better choice then. Yeah. But that said, if I he, like my self bumps. If he won banks. I like my self bumps a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like two straight barrel in front of Omega Leader. No one moves. It's the good stuff. Nothing in Tristan's uh, force can barrel roll. No, for Dawn. Oh, I see what you're saying. Well, we, but, well, yeah. It's because Omega Leader's in a good spot. Oh, I see. So you self bump her too? No, probably not. Well, it depends what he does with the, with that white wing. If he does a two turn. I feel, like, I feel like you've got a two turn. Then you're not gonna, he's not going to get a shot against it, right? Yeah. Or you turn Tomox in towards it and just light it up, right? Mm-hmm. You need to take a ship down. I mean, it's out of the fight for a while, so you could leave it alone, but it's probably not in your best interest. I feel like starting to pull Zeds off the table is probably what you need to do. Well, I figure you could probably leave the Thread Tracer one on there, but if you, if you can take out the Thread Tracer, the one that still has its Thread Tracers, that'll help. You think if you're done right now, do you get in there try to get a try to get a target lock? To uh, take a missile shot on somebody, anybody? Yeah, because I don't think you care about the Y-Wing. No, you probably don't. It's going to take two turns to get back pointing in the right direction. He's got a hard two, hard two for two turns, so he's got time. And he could just hard he could hard two with his own Omega Leader to take out the Y-Wing. I mean, I've seen enough Zeds pop in one turn. Or one yeah, shot. Yeah, like... but, but that's the other thing, though. People leave them alone, and then they pop things, right? That's right. So... I don't know. There's no right answer. Again, it's that's nice. why it's one of the nice things about being commentating is that you don't have to be making all the stressful decisions. <laughs> that's right. You can yeah, just... so the two straight. Brilliant. Does he fit? I think he does. So keeping those Zeds alive might not be the worst decision for Dawn, considering that that Omega Leader has stealth device and he's rolling four dice and he has an evade. Yeah, that, that Oli is going to be an that absolute be a monster, monster yeah. takedown. Like, stealth device Oli is so hard to kill. Um... So yeah, you pull target lock and you shoot something, or do you not waste? Do you not want to waste a target? Uh, your only missile. I pull target lock and shoot something. Just kill something. Just get, only got just, four hull left. Just get an arc off the board. Just get something off the table. The more dice you roll with the mega leader, the higher the chance that she does. That's a good point. I mean, there's no guarantee he. There's no guarantee he gets. Four damage with a with the homing missile because of the no, fact that he doesn't have that targeting synchronizer thing anymore to use. So, but if we're assuming the Zed's going to K turn this turn, that means that Tomox could K turn next turn. Yeah, uh, it assuming looks he like lives he another turn. So Don is going for the target lock. Yeah, He's assuming the K turn. Going to give him the option to to do it. Paparazzi. Oh, see, oh, that's that I did not see coming. Looks like Tristan's flying in uh, preserve MOV mode. <laughs> I guess so. Do you think this is a system open or something? Every day is a system open. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, I know we've got that wonderful Coruscant Invitational mat that was actually won by PTL mat member uh, Eric, Eric Z, Z because he, he got one of his mini squads into the uh, selection there. He had the B wing with Tactician and Ion Cannon. Yeah was his mini squad that got voted in and, and made it there and that's how he got one of the mats which was pretty awesome. It's a nice looking mat. Yes it is. It's gorgeous. So trying to figure out what's going on over here now. Uh, Z1 does okay so he's not doing any of the things we thought we were gonna do. See? Huh? One banking both of them then potentially or? I might fork. Well, I know because the Z is only a 3k, so he can't 3k now because he he did the one bank there. We can try. We'll see. That's what he did. Yeah, one bank. Ooh. Yeah. Bumping into Tomox. Oh, actually, so you know what? If he went one straight with his other... Oh, that, that X-Wing's no longer stressed, right? 
That's correct. So X-Wing number two is definitely 4K or no? Ah, uh, I mean, maybe. You're really breaking up your fleet by doing that, though. The two turns seem like a good idea. Let's get in there, put damage down. You got your reroll, you don't care. Mm-hmm. Unless... Is that clear? I want to say no. No, okay, yeah. No, you're right. That's definitely that's not clear because the inside of that template is the inside edge of the ship. And then we're just going to line these things up along as per the proper rules. Well, that's not touching it anymore. What would you guys do? Something that, is or, wrong. Is that how he got top 20? Is that how he got into the 20? Or is that actually what happens? Do you move back along the edge that much? No. I don't think that's You should be touching. Anymore. Yeah, they should definitely be touching. There he goes. Don's, there he goes. Don's, Don's, Don's on it. That. Don's on it. He knows what he's doing. All that precise measuring. Just move it by hand. <laughs> Flat casual, baby. Okay, the three straight. That's a weird move. So, looks like our boy Tristan is in a little weird positioning here. Oh, he did self-bump his uh, Oh, he self-bumped the X-Wing. Okay. Beauty. That makes sense. Yeah. I think he might have forgotten. Maybe you think he forgot that Tomax was going first and he thought he might block Tomax's mm -hmm. options with, with the two banks? Or yeah, maybe he I didn't think. think the two bank cleared. Because it looked very close. So now you got a couple of guns that you could take. So the Zed is going to shoot Omega Leader because it's the only target it has. Yeah. Uh, would you shoot Tomax at range one or are we going to shoot Omega Leader? You don't have any tokens. So you probably want to go for Tomax. This is a higher chance of doing damage. Well, Tomax only has four, four hull left. Whoa. If you if you can get if you can get Tomax into a situation where, um, oh, that was a blank. Oh. It's all blanks. That is not what you want. No. All right, looks like an evade. So that's totally fine. So it did look. It looks like he did Big shoot. Zip. Uh, looks like he used the X wing to fire at Omega Leader range one. Huh. No, no, actually, no, that could have easily have been Tomax, because Tomax would have four dice. And that's three dice, so that's the Z, taking that range one shot on Omega Leader. Yep. For another Zulp. Oof. No, no, dice want to give Donut Chess to get back into this game, you know? What's it? Taking naked dice means uh, anything could happen. Mm hmm. And here's Tomax range one on a Z. Uh, for. Target lock? Me. Yep. For something better than blank, let's see. Uh, so one massive guaranteed hit because you'll just crack shot. Well, not guaranteed. Crack shot. It is guaranteed now because you'll crack it. Nope. I'm he assuming has a focus. he's gonna crack it. Oh, he had a focus. Ah, okay. Crack shot, anyways. <laughs> yeah, you get it back right away. So fine. Surprised he didn't go after the Y wing, or maybe he did go after the Y wing. No, the Y wing couldn't have had the focus, so that, that right. would have been damaged. I'm surprised he didn't go after the Y wing. I mean, a range one shot and a Z with crack shot and focus target lock, I would have gone after that too. Yeah. Sorry, target lock only, so. That makes sense. I kind of, ex I would have, if I was done, I would have expected more damage out of that turn too, which I'm pretty wow. sure he did. Target lock, he should have got at least two hits. That seems reasonable. And the crack, you assume he would have got at least one damage through that Z. Yes. Okay. So, actually, there was no damage at all that turn. No. So now we've got a nice little melee going on here. So what do you do with this little, uh, this oh, little scum? Man. This is... Interesting. Now, do you want to slew Bolly again? Because you, at this point, you you kind of have to use yeah. her aggressively, right? You can no think, longer afford to be defensive. I think I have to slew Bolly this turn. It keeps or do you go four four K for more range? No, I wouldn't go that way. If you sloop to ship left, yep, means that you're probably going to be out of arc of the Zeds unless they K turn. Yeah, but probably this... out of the T seventy as well, assuming that he's going to two turn. T sixty five, sorry. Well, yeah, that's true. But the the T sixty five four can self bump. Mm -hmm. And that one that will shoot you. Off. That one might shoot you yeah. for sure. But again, it's one ship. Tomax is going to K turn? Uh, that's a good question. I mean, Tomax isn't in a bad position right now. Like, if you if you K turn and everything goes in that direction, there's Tomax dead, right? Yeah. You kind of want to stay in the back of the pack if possible, I would think. So hard to at Tomax and go after the Y Wing, maybe. I don't know. Again. Yeah, okay, this might be a turn where you don't want to move again. You're just cause him mayhem. Yeah, I feel like for Tristan, it's not the worst idea if... Just to not move. If Z number two, and then both the X-Wings just sit where they are, I, I, I count that as a win. Yeah, and then I think And then just K-turn the, the other Z, and this, just bring all the guns to bear on that one range. And that second T-65, 
if the four number four bumps means it's probably not going to clear a two turn. Yeah. That's so true. Tomox is in a pretty good place where he is. Oh, you're thinking that if you're Don, you just sit tight? Yeah, I think I would just sit tight. And he turns. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, one Z can't get him. Yeah, no, it's a good place to be. I mean, Zeds can't shoot you there. Well, they can if they both K turn. Yes, but I don't think they're both going to K turn. Why not? We'll, we'll see. <laughs> We'll see. Yeah, I mean, they might K-turn. Uh, Don's doing a barrel roll here. I guess that's to anticipate the K-turn. At least on number two. Yep. He dodges at least one arc. And gets more range distance uh, from X-Wing number four. Two bank with the Y-Wing? Yep. yep. Three bank. Three bank, yeah. She'll be coming around when she comes. Mm-hmm. That's actually... A great position because now it's going to be back in the fight again in two turns. Yeah, and it's in a pain in the ass spot, which you like. You don't want. You don't really want to pursue it all the way out that far. You don't want to go that far to the way. It's going to. Next turn, it'll have an obstruction. Mm -hmm. So it's a good positioning for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, Don could just turn in next turn and kill it. That's true. With the Tomax. Tomax should still be around. That's looking like some. Yep. K City. Yep. Do you, uh. Go for the block on Omega Leader with Z number two? Uh, you mean like a, what, a two bank? Or like, yeah, like a two bank, one bank, two turn. Hmm. Would you try to block? Hmm. I mean, a block, yep, no, looks, like, for the looks block. like the answer is yes. The one bank makes sense. He, bu he bumps you, you're laughing. If he gets in front of you, you're laughing. Either way, you're shooting tone locks. That's a nice range one shot. Does he target lock or does he focus? Uh, I believe uh, that's the one with the thread with threads still. Yeah, that that's one of threads. So you're gonna focus. But I don't think you wait. I don't think you care about threads at this point. I think you go for damage. Uh, I think if you line up your X wing shot, you might want a threads. He's only gonna get one X wing shot though. And the Z. Now threads is uh, everybody at range one two of the ship that fired the thread tracers. That's correct. So if he hard twos with his X wing to the left, then yeah, maybe he does thread tracer though. But I don't know if I I don't know if I give up a range one shot though. It's very rare. I mean, with range one, the Z's are actually an Doing issue. Damage, yeah? yeah, they're actually an issue. So, I mean, it's just me. I might have gone for the target lot to go for max damage because again, against a two hull, so the four hull but two evade dice of mm -hmm. the of the bomber, you get a chance. Um, but we'll see. This is nice here getting a little bit of a reform with these guys. Mm-hmm. But then again, if he fires threaders now, almost everybody's gonna get him. Ooh. Mm hmm. He sure locked down that Omega Leader. Oh, Don's oh, just gonna call it. The hand. Yeah. He said there's no point because that's it. it's over. Yeah, he's seen enough. <laughs> so a second game of three where X Wings win. Hmm. It's almost as if we're biased.